Today we're talking about endometriosis. So here we are visiting the female reproductive system. I'm going to throw up some labels so you can get oriented. And then we are going to zoom on over to the mothership because inside the uterus is where we're going to find the endometrium, the endometrial cells. Now these are hormonally driven and responsive cells because they are part of the fertility cycle. Normally they would be thickening in order to host a fertilized egg, which has been released where? At the ovary and travel down the uterine tube. Now, if there is no fertilized egg, this uh, tissue is sloughed off, squeezed by the uterus because the uterus is a muscle and it exits the vagina during the menses or the period. That's when everything is working correctly. Endometriosis is where these cells have ended up in the pelvic cavity. So they are no longer confined to the uterus. They can now attach to the ovary, the uterine tube, the outside of the uterus, the bladder, the rectum, uh, the colon, as far away as the liver, and yes, even the brain. It's important to remember that these cells are hormonally driven. So even though they are now in a place where they do not belong, they are still going to respond to that normal cycle. So they will continue to thicken, bleed, and thin. The problem is, is there's now no place for all of that to exit, like during the period. So they end up causing inflammation, adhesions, uh, tons of pain through a very diffuse area. And this makes it incredibly challenging to diagnose. And to be on point here, this condition is overlooked and glossed over and misdiagnosed probably more than any other condition that is this common. We will be exploring this more. If you have questions, you know what to do.